If you're wondering who loves you this Valentine's Day, it's the person who takes the time to bake and decorate these adorable owl cookies. Our uh, cookie decorator extraordinaire, Danny Fiore, is here to show us how to turn a basic sugar cookie into an edible work of art. So, so welcome back. Thank you. So nice to have you here. Thank you. Danny uh, used to work in our in our craft um, room and our craft planning here at the show and she, her business making cookies yes has taken I, off. I owe you a huge thanks oh, to that wow. you it's taken off and why yes. not I mean when people get married they get their brides and grooms when, absolutely when they have birthday parties for their kids they get their cookies right a and, lot of wedding uh, showers what's the most and... popular cookie that you make Danny well, I have to say, what we're doing today has been very popular Who because loves me? the owls. Oh, okay. Um, and I'm able to do them for a lot of occasions. So I've done them for baby showers. I've done them oh, for um, look for at holidays. These. Look how cute these are. So yeah, they're, these are sweet. So this is yeah. the Valentine, okay. uh, the wise lovebird. Okay, the wise lovebird. Yes, exactly. I saw an owl on Sunday on my property. <gasps> oh my gosh. A beautiful owl. That's where I saw my first real owl too. Was yes. on your property at the Halloween special. Oh yes. yeah, amazing. Okay, so now we have to make the royal icing. Yes. The cookie recipe is on our website at MarthaStewart.com, but it is the icing that really takes the cake. Yes, it really, I mean, it, ha it I mean, allows you to decorate If you don't have the right way. consistency and you don't exactly. have the smoothness and you don't have this, this beautiful luminousness, right. uh, you're not gonna get a really beautiful cookie like that. And Danny has the secret. Right, okay? I, I love this recipe and I use meringue powder. So we're gonna use half a cup. So you buy a meringue powder at the cake decorating store, like yes, Cake and Bake, New York Cake, cake and Bake. Michael sells it as well. Michael's. Um, they have a great baking aisle these days. And so a half a cup of meringue powder. Right, to and one cup of cold water. Okay. And now one thing that I use is this whisk attachment for my hand mixer. Don't you love that? I love it. Yeah. I, I mean, it really just kind of speeds the icing making along. And, oops, a little high. Don't breathe it, don't breathe <laughs> Did in I the get dust. you? I'm sorry. No, no. So we just want to get this to soft peaks, okay. and the way also you know that is it's starting. It'll start to look smooth, and all the large air, air bubbles are popped. Okay. Oh, great! Yes, and, I and, it, and it beats to, up pretty fast, right? Exactly, it's, especially with the whisk. And right. I usually stop to scrape down the oh, side. No, but, but you since don't have you're to. Doing I'll that, do it. Amazing! It's always great to have somebody helping. So how many people are baking and decorating with you? I have a couple people helping me. I have two people who help me bake, and I have two people who help me ice. Now, so, if, if I want to order cookies for a wedding, what do I do? Um, you could just email me, call me. Well, I mean, you could call tell, me anytime. Tell, tell. <laughs> the, the, the country is looking at you. DannyB.com. <laughs> and Danny yes, what? A sweet Danny B. A sweet Danny. D-A-N-I-B. Okay. And yep, I have cookies up there, but I mean, at this point, we pretty much have any shape, so we could send you a picture if, if you don't see it on the website. Is so that, you could see that this is that is, soft enough. It's pretty good, yeah. We're, okay. There's still a couple of bubbles well, in I'll, it. Well, I'll just start spooning but the sugar in. But you could start in. spooning the sugar in. Okay, you want no bubbles. Right, and this is actually I am gonna change my whisk attachment out for the beaters. Okay. So this is. So that's a good handy mixer, the the KitchenAid. Exactly. Okay. Oh, that's a great one. And you just start incorporating the sugar. And this is two pounds of sifted, sifted confectioner sugar. If you sift it, it makes the job easier. It does. The lumps, the lumps are, oh, the, are gone. Exactly. And again, you want you want this icing to be as smooth as possible, so you don't have any problems when you're icing. Mm, I love okay, making royal icing. Great. Now, what do you flavor yours with? Well, actually, you had given me that advice, so I, I add a little bit of fresh lemon juice, which we okay. have a little bit there. We have two teaspoons of fresh lemon juice. Okay, should I just put it in? Absolutely, okay. yes. It's it's delicious. It just adds a little bit. Yeah, I think it adds a little tang. Yes, it does. Oh, this is coming out very smooth. It really, it's looking great. And if you're icing at the end, you know, humidity affects the icing a lot. So if your icing is looking a little thin at the end, you could add another tablespoon or two of the sugar. Okay. If it's looking thick, you could add another tablespoon or two of water. But this is really looking great. I spilled a little. <laughs> but generally when you do this, you spill a lot. Exactly, yes. I always have mats down on the counter. All of my dish towels have uh, icing colors on them. Okay. So yeah, this is looking great. And then we're going to also color. And what kind of colorings are you using? I use the um, gel pastes or airbrush colors. And um, 
Do you use airbrush it for decorating at all? I've never used the airbrush, no, but they do have, they have some extra vibrant colors. And okay, so you could see kind of the consistency of this. Yep, it's, good. it's similar to, I always say it's similar to like your craft glue. Right. So that's exactly what, how you want it. Okay. And I, But it's tasty. Exactly. So what I do is I pour it into deli containers. And the reason is because they flex. So it's really nice and you can easily oh, squeeze it and oh. pour into your bottles. Oh. And then you could store it in these too because you do have to keep your icing covered. Right. Otherwise it'll dry out. Right. So, okay, we have our owls. Now wait, tell about these because this yes. is, this is I had not seen this before Danny yes. came along. It's so much easier than those pastry bags and tips. Right. So much easier for, and this is for general decorating. Definitely, yeah, yep. these are the squeeze bottles okay. and I'm actually selling a kit that oh. includes the bottles and the royal icing recipe. How many, how many bottles? Uh, it comes with four bottles. Mm -hmm. Okay. And okay, so we're gonna start to, this is your amazing sugar cookie recipe right. that we use for these owls. And we're gonna just dam and flood, so outline him. So this is a nice big cookie, so. By damming, this is called damming, making this beautiful outline, you can keep the frosting from dripping down the sides of the cookie, right? Exactly. I usually leave a little bit of space on the edge, uh, just a little outline. And then I fill in. Mm. So. So I just kind of make a zigzag pattern or trace it just to fill it in. So fun. Gosh. And then since this is a bigger cookie, I'm gonna use a spatula to even out the icing. Okay. If this were little, it would sort of flow into, each into yeah, itself. Yeah, and sometimes you could even use a toothpick. So I'm just gonna lightly spread the icing around. Oh my gosh, I love these colors. I, we were inspired by sweetheart candies. Mm -hmm. And your sweater is the sweetheart orange color. I, I love it. I knew that. <laughs> it's perfect. Not really. Okay. So, <laughs> so I always give my cookie a shake at the end. It evens out the icing nicely. And it, yeah, it breaks. And if you have any bubbles, you knock them out with right, a toothpick. With a toothpick. Okay, okay, so now I'm gonna show how we add the feathers. I hope mine looks as good as yours. Sure it oh, it's looking yes. amazing. It's good. Oops. Okay, so shake it around. So we're gonna do this um, very fun feather pattern. And the way so we cute. do that is we're gonna draw some stripes. And I usually start like mid chest, like right about there. And I think I'm gonna do two colors. You could do one or two colors. You could do four colors, whatever, however many you wanna mix in. So just draw two stripes and then two more. You have three, I only have two. Do you want a, uh, oh, you can mix a red in with that or a pink. Okay. And then I'm gonna take my toothpick, and this is the technique for this. You lightly drag a line down, and each time you have to clean off your toothpick. I'm gonna do the other side, and then down the middle. I love doing this. It's so, this so is called, pretty. I call this the Napoleon. <gasps> Do you? Oh, design because yes. on all the Napoleons were like done like this. That's so true. Gosh, when I first discovered this technique, I, I went crazy. It's so pretty. I mean, so many people ask, "How do you do it?" So it just makes a really fun feather. I've been calling it feathering because it's the feathers of the owl. It is feathering. So, um, oh, that looks so pretty. Oh, the color combination is. But great. now, don't you go backwards? I I did. I went up and down. Oh, yes, I have to go backwards. Yours has extra feathers. I love it. I like, well, I always have lots of feathers. Yes. <laughs> you know, they're just like amazing birds. Beautiful. There. Okay. So now we could Shoot. add our eyes. And there's a couple of options. Um, you have sweethearts. Oh, yes. Oh, I want yellow and eyes. And I have some that were cut out of fondant. So um, I just had a little heart cutter and cut these out of fondant. I find it to be really cute when the owl eyes are big. Big and like googly. And then I'm gonna add a beak. Um, my beak is a cut gumdrop. Mine say forever, tweet me. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> tweet me forever. Oh, and then a gumdrop. Yep, and oh. you could do. Um, I can do a candy corn. Candy corn, yes. <gasps> I love those. So cute. And now we're gonna add feet. You have the. Um, these are so cute. So cute. And you have the um, jelly Pink. beans. Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna okay. use red hot. And so the little feet have to go along the bottom? Exactly. Okay. So then it, then it looks like he's perching. See now, 
Looks really, mm -hmm. really complicated, um, but actually take your time and you will come up with some gorgeous alternative designs. Now, um, when we come back, we're gonna finish our lovebirds. Our cooking, uh, cookie decorating expert, and we're just about to put the final touches on our owl cookies. So I've been fooling around. I put, I put little eyes on yours, yes, like perfect right circles. here. Yeah, aren't they you got great? <laughs> and uh, and but you can once you have it. Once the cookie is dry, uh, it takes about how long for the icing to dry? I usually say eight hours, but if you could leave it overnight, it's always better because yeah. again, humidity affects it. You don't know you, depending on where you live and, right. and things like that. So now you use um, what are these? We, like? Those are called uh, jumbo confetti circles, and the whole key here is that we want our lovebirds to look at each other. Oh, okay. So um, I'm going to do. Okay, so you have yours looking this way, and I'm gonna have mine looking at yours. So I'm putting a dot of icing in the corner, and I'm actually gonna use candy dots. Have you ever had these? They're on the paper. Oh, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, so I'm gonna use those, and they, it's kind of like a fun expression. Let me see if I could grab. So these guys, put it right he's, in the dot he's of looking icing. over towards you. Exactly. And then it's sweet because oh, when you package them together, they really are love birds. You put a little white dot in the uh, in his eyes. Yes, I like how you just did that like with the, the owls. Owls a don't. little gliss glimmer in the yeah. eye. That's so, so cute. So this one's going to look at and then yours. Look Here. This way. See you. <laughs> <laughs> so cute. I love it. And this is a boy and that's the girl. Right. Okay. Exactly. So All actually, right. as a finishing cute. touch, we have also another just quick and easy way. Uh, we're going to package our owls together, but in the middle, I thought it would be fun to write a little message. And oh. we have these food coloring, these markers. Oh, so you food. can write, Oh, Yes, so okay. you can write a message to your Valentine. Which color okay. do you like? I want, um, we have purple. Lavender, this color. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with red. And so you could just, it, it's just like a regular marker. Oh, what are you writing? I'm writing a message to my husband. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's so easy. And again, with this royal icing, since it's so smooth, I used to, oh, I loved, I, I love making Valentines. I think they're very fun. Here we go. Oh, so sweet. Okay, now this goes in, so now we can package it up? Exactly, so we could take, okay. we could take our box here. We have some shred here. in okay. it. Okay. So we put him here. Right. We put the there we little go. guy there. And then I have a couple of other, we have a few hearts. We have some love bugs which we had done a few oh years ago gosh. on the show. Now, if you got this, wouldn't you be mine? <laughs> <laughs> so cute, I love Definitely. it. So now what are the other inspired, um, th oh, and this. That's right. Okay, Danny made a cookie for everyone in the audience, so you'll be getting this as you leave. They're so cute. That's great. But and everybody can personalize their cookie right. because they're going home with one of the... So where do you buy the uh, the food safe um, these are, pens? These are from fooddoodler.com. Okay. And um, I left everybody's cookie blank in case they want to customize it themselves because okay. they're also taking a marker home. Oh, they are? Yeah. Oh, how great. So, yeah. So here's one they did with sweet on it. And... I'm done. I'm eating a heart. I just want you to know that the cookies taste really oh, good. Okay. They don't only look beautiful. Thank you. They taste good. And sugarcraft.com is? Sugar, uh, th that's oh. your sugar cookie recipe. No, no, sugarcraft.com. Oh, I'm sorry, the food doulers are from sugarcraft.com. Okay. Yes. Okay, good. Well, I think we've showed you how to make the most beautiful Valentine's cookies ever. Thanks, Danny. Thank you, Martha.